Women are in this country are, are incentivized so much to do everything to ruin relationships, dating, and they don't, and they so naive and they don't see it. No, nope. must unlearn what you have learned. And then you got guys like this, man. It's like, dude, like they just want to see their kids, bro. And y'all, bruh. what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video before we get started make sure you please like comment subscribe all that good jazz on the road to 20,000 subs let's get it all right, so if you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Now let's go ahead and jump into it. So today I'm going to be reacting to a clip that was sent to me by a subscriber um, about guys um, being neglected for their kids and um, child support. And I also had another clip that was sitting in um, my content vault that is related to the same thing so i'm going to play both clips for you guys because this is extremely important because y'all know how important um, men's health is to me and this right here is one of the leading in my opinion one of the leading causes as to why guys um self-delete themselves all right so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it and i'm gonna try to keep it together I want to talk about something, and I might get a lot of heat for this shit. So one of my closest friends just committed suicide last night. He just came home from jail maybe a month and a half ago. Why he was in jail? Because he was late paying his child support. He did a year bid. What? Bruh. A year in jail just for some late, just for being late on child support. Let's keep it moving, man. Just came home. Every time I was on the phone with him, all he ever wanted to do was to see his kids. Figure out how to pay child support and see his kids. That was his main goal when he came home. <laughs> But the judge yesterday, when he had court, told him he had 25 days. In 25 days to come up with $3,500 or he was in the warrant for his arrest. And go back to jail. What the French toast? How was a man who literally just got home from jail supposed to come up with that kind of money in that small amount of time? The only way he's gonna do that is if he borrows it from somebody. And he's been in jail for the last year. So how in the hell can he even show any kind of proof or anything concrete to even get a loan of that amount? It's like it's like the system is designed for you to fail, bro. Yep. This is crazy. Let's keep it moving. You know what bothers me? that the government's giving out money to single parents, which I understand, we need it. But what about us parents, and I mean it, father and mothers that are on child support, we need f too. I can't pay a thousand dollars a month in child support, which I am, and manage to pay my house, food in my mouth, and still provide for my kids when they ask daddy for something. That shit's hard, bro. And because of child support, it's just stupid. My best friend <laughs> took his life. And I missed that phone call when he tried calling me. I got three something this morning.
you know, us parents, all we really want is our kids. You know what I mean? Like, like me, I miss my kids, but I can't see my kids because of fucking child support because I, I can't make payments on time. So my big moms keep my kids away from me. Long story short, bro. We we struggling, bro. Like this is real, bro. Protect your seed, bro. Protect your seed, man. Oh my god, bro. I can't I can't believe this, bro. This this is why I'm so scared to have children in this country. Women are incentivized to be single mothers. Women are incentivized to do thought shit. Women are in this country are, are incentivized so much to do everything to ruin relationships, dating, and they don't, and they so naive and they don't see it. No, nope. must I learn what you have learned. And then you got guys like this, man. It's like, dude, like they just want to see their kids, bro. And y'all, bruh. Let's just go to the next clip. All right, so check out this story that he reads here, man. This is the final photograph of Philip Herring, 34, crying in his car, literally minutes before taking his own life. He was a single dad with three kids, struggling with crushing debt over 20000 and was desperately waiting for a payday loan he applied for. But it was paid in arrears with a five-week wait time. That wait drove him even deeper into debt. And when he died, he had $4.61 in his bank account and clearly couldn't see any other way out. Like a lot of people, especially men, he kept all of this to himself. Nobody else knew how bad things were getting. This poor man even had to tell his children that Santa Claus wouldn't come this year. And in his suicide note, he wrote that they'll be better off if he wasn't around anymore. And now he isn't. We need to talk more. We need to be kinder. And we need to be a country that helps each other when we need it the most. We can't make this shit up. We can't make this shit up. Bro, I'm not even a father. And this hurts. <sighs> the more I react to stuff like this, the more I want to leave. See, this is why when Austin Holloman said he just want to pack up everything and move now, I'm like, dude, do it. <laughs> Men in this country, we're lead we're literally treated like cattle, bro. Seems like in this country nowadays, if you're if you're not a celebrity, you're treated like nothing. Especially from women, man. The things that we should value, as far as keeping families, and relationships, and marriages together, I think that's all out the window, man. Like I really do. Stories like this, get your passport, y'all. This, this, this ain't it, man. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, oh, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hitting the bell notification. That way y'all know when I'm uploading. And hit the like button because it helps with the algorithm. And it helps me reach a broader audience. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.